Hey, good morning, guys. Uh, it's the 6th of May, about 9 o'clock in the morning. I got the day off, so I am going to tackle this back room back here. Uh, I think the plan is, is at least to get that table right there cleared off, and that's going to be my used sorting station, I think. So a uh, bunch of stuff here that needs to make its way out of here or into other places. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be the first order of business. And then I think I have some cleaning up to do. Have my helpers come and uh, sort out this Lego set. There's a Spider-Man set. They've still got one more bag to do. Uh, they had to take off, but um, and then I've got a couple other sets in the queue for them. And yeah, just trying to get things organized, cleaned up. I've got a month before I have to transfer to my next duty station. Uh, family, like I said before, uh, family staying here. Uh, shop's going to stay here. I'm going to be traveling back and forth. Uh, four days on, four days off. So I'm going to be doing the Lego thing on my four days off. And on my four days on, I'll be doing the military thing. So... Some, some of the stuff is going to go, uh, this couch is going to go, once this couch goes, it's not going to go today, but it's going to go to, um, to my new living quarters or whatever you want to call them. Uh, but anyway, the, this couch is going to go, and then once it goes, I'm going to put more bins up on the wall, that'll give me some more space. Uh, just to kind of show you where I'm at, I am... At AX138 with the big drawers. And come back here in the dark. And I'm at AO. Well, yeah, around right there. Uh, as far as the smart small drawers are concerned. I've got all of those labeled. Or yeah. No barcodes on these ones down here yet. Uh, my son came in and put the labels on the drawer handles for me. All right, so I'm in the throes of cleaning out this area. I got most of it cleaned out, but then this table appeared, and I decided that I was going to take some extra wood that I had laying around here, as you can see, and I'm making a sorting table. It's not going to be the most beautiful thing in the world, but... Uh, I put some of this old shelving down here so I had a smooth surface and then uh, I had to kind of piece it together but it's okay because all these seams should be covered by those shoe boxes back there. So uh, I'm going to get this put together and cleaned up. As you can see that piece over there is kind of nasty but uh, but the idea is to have so those are the sides obviously and then I got this piece right here and it's going to go on the back and then I've got another shelf piece that's going to go here and it's going to span the distance over to there and so I'll be able to slide some shoe boxes underneath those and then put some shoe boxes on top so uh, I can fit eight shoe boxes across right here and so if I double up that's 16 thinking about triple layering it to 24 but that may be too many um, but if I do that that'll extend these out to about here um, if I do the two rows it'll extend it out to about here and then uh, and then that'll give me enough room to part out right there and then I've also got room on the on both ends for two more shoe boxes so two more on each side so yeah, so I'm gonna get finishing this and uh, I'll let you see it when it's done. All right, new and improved space. Uh, this stuff over here is still gonna find a home, but there she is, the new used sorting table. Pretty excited about it. Um, I think, so the categories here, are set up by David West's categories. However, uh, I think I'm going to play around with them a little bit. 
Uh, I think the categories are going to kind of stay the same, but just my placement is probably going to move around. I figure, you know, one buys, one by bricks, one by plates, two by plates, two by bricks can be right up here front and center because that's kind of where it's the most pieces are going to be, I think. And I don't know. I'll play with it as I go, but, but yeah, I'm pretty, pretty excited about the way this turned out. Uh, let's see if I can, there we go. So the table itself is five feet by three feet. Uh, I actually built it for my son to put a model train on, you know, real, uh, HO scale trains. And so built it for that initially, but then he kind of grew out of them. He didn't want to do it anymore. So I ended up with this table that just was sitting in here for a while and, um, yeah, I just cleaned it off. And like I said, I put these, these on the top so that I didn't have to sand it and paint it. Um, but they're old shelves from something, some old cabinets. So repurposed those. I put one layer of that all the way, all the way on the bottom. And then I put these on the side. These are some old shelves that were laying around. Um, and then I cut this shelf back here from an old piece of plywood. I may have to put a support here in the middle because it flexes pretty good. Just depends on how much weight I can get into, into these bins. But for the most part, I'm pretty happy with it. I think it'll suit my needs and it's kind of tucked out of the way here and I'll just put some of that uh, clean used. All right guys, I don't know if you remember, but I had this cabinet of these drawers here that I had on my instruction booklets in. They were just piling up and becoming a nuisance. Uh, hard to find and whatnot. So I uh, took them out and divided them up by theme. So I'm kind of in the middle of that, but uh, yeah, divided it up by theme. And now I'm putting them in numerical order because the themes are pretty much in numerical order. And I'm bringing them back here and putting them in a file cabinet. Excuse the mess. Uh, but yeah, so it's turning out pretty good. I'm putting probably about five different sets to a folder, uh, but they're all in numerical order. So if I ever need to find one, I can just thumb through, find the closest number. And I think I'm going to put tabs uh, up here for, you know, like the 40,000 and whatever, you know, um, just to make it a little more simpler to find. Hey guys, welcome to September 8th, 2022, uh, 8.10 p.m. Uh, just been busy. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but that's soon going to change, and I'm hoping to be a little bit more regular with them. But uh, just a quick update while I'm on the screen. I got 329,000, just shy of 330,000 uh, parts in the store, 8,861 lots. Uh, some of that has been the last, actually almost 20,000 of that has been in the last week or so. Uh, spent some time uploading all of these, some Harry Potter sets, mostly these uh, class book things. Uh, and I had some Super Mario, some Avenger. Anyway, uh, parted all those out, and then that's the current state of the the backlog. Uh, trying to work, trying to work it down as much as I can. Um, kind of hitting the stopping point. Mainly the reason why I've been doing these smaller sets uh, with less copies of, uh, just because I am running out of big drawers. In fact. I've got those five big drawers right there, and I am full up for big drawers. Uh, I've filled up the wall. Uh, all these parts in column AP are full, except for 
those empty ones right there. Started the started filling some from the top there uh, on this last set. And this is my backlog of drawers. Uh, you can see there's two labels missing. Uh, messed up on them, so I gotta go back and make some labels later. But uh, the barcodes are on the back, so I'm not that worried about it. And then those are the five drawers that I'm missing. And this is how I've been parting out lately. I'll probably do a video or a clip here uh, in the near future on how I'm doing that. Uh, it just seems to be more efficient for me uh, doing it by myself. That's the next set that's uh, on cue. And I got some dots that I'm going to part out here soon too. Um, but yeah, it's been kind of a hectic couple months. Uh, moving to a new job, moving to a new town, uh, sort of. Uh, we're still in the same spot, obviously. You can see the... The Lego shop is still the same as it was, um, but my new job has taken me 100 miles south, and I'm setting up a, a dry cabin down there, and so I've been trying to get the walls done and the floor done so that I can get heat in there because we're getting close to, to winter, and so, yeah. But this is the use section, which hasn't changed a whole lot since the last time I posted a video, I think. I know I kind of hinted that I was going to start working on this, but I just haven't gotten around to it. Um, and, yeah, and I would take you back to show you the, the parting out table, but it's kind of a mess right now. We went on a hiking trip a few months ago, um, yeah, about a month and a half ago, and... Uh, all of our camping stuff is still sitting out over there, so. But, yeah. Um, not a whole lot's changed, and, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm just going to, I'm going to try to post a little bit more regularly. I've got some clips of my uh, dry cabin uh, down south that uh, I'm going to probably add to this video. And I'm going to put some new clips in there. Uh, I got the flooring done, and I got the... The, uh, the wall's done, and so now I just got to install the some of the appliances and bring this couch down there. Uh, so that couch is going to go bye-bye from here, and that'll allow me to put some more drawers up on the wall here, which will allow me to part out some more of those those sets on my in my backlog. So, uh, so yeah, nice little update. Hey guys, it's 4.01 on October 13th, um, Friday the 13th actually, crazy. Anyway, uh, just wanted to give a quick update, I know it's been a minute since I've posted any videos, so uh, it's just been a busy summer going into fall, and just haven't had time to get out here to the shop with my new job, and anyway, so, uh, but I've got a couple of days, and uh, I'm, I'm going to clean up in here but I uh, just want to give you a quick update on what's been going on here um, so this is the status of the backlog I'm um, just kind of nugging away at it as I can as I've got time um, did some reorganizing in here I uh, had to bring some stuff in from the house so you know Christmas stuff and and then up top, we've reorganized up there, and it's getting more and more full. We had to bring some, like I said, had to bring some stuff in from the house. Uh, but uh, here's the other part of the backlog over here. Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but the amount of Lego has decreased over here on the backlog table and shelf. Uh, the wall is still the wall, and I've got some drawers pulled, and those are just uh, some empty drawers that need lots put in them, and we are full on this wall all the way up to column AP, and all the drawers down below are full, and... 
just these small drawers up here need need filled up. Uh, the shoe bins are full. And then we go over here and you saw a glimpse of this a little bit earlier, but the wall is, uh, I mean, it's been constructed, but it is full of Acro Mills bins and drawers. And as you can see, the big drawers are full all the way up to AX200. Uh, there are some empty drawers there. There's five of them there, and then there's one there, but but for the most part, this this the large drawers are full up to that point. Um, couch is gone that was here before, and then I got the drawers put up, and I was one cabinet shy of filling this wall. So uh, next time Amazon's got a good deal on these drawers, I'm gonna grab one more, and then this wall will be complete. Um, got a small mess to clean up over here. Uh, I've got this one set to part out and put away. Armored assault tank. Uh, I've only got the one. And then I've got a speed champion set sitting here that needs parted out. I uh, found this Dacta set at a thrift store for 10 bucks. And it's all complete and it's super clean. Uh, the pieces are super clean. Um, the container itself is is a little a little dirty, but but the inside is super clean. Uh, the instructions are all there, so excited to kind of to part that out and see what I can get for it. Uh, this is a Speed Champion set that's sitting over on the table. Uh, the second bag is sitting back there. And I got a bunch of dots that I need to part out uh, just to get them. I bought them a while ago. I just need to get them parted out and put in the store. I think it's going to be a, a long time before I buy dots again. Uh, they just don't seem to be going out of my store as quickly as I would have hoped. But And then I bought some of these from Costco. They were on sale. Uh, so I got 10 of these. And that's going to be um, a part out here shortly just to get them out of the way because they're big and bulky and um, they're better in the store than they are sitting on my table. So I uh, haven't really done anything back here as of late. Uh, I still got the, the used wall that hasn't really done anything a whole lot or I haven't done a lot to it. So, so yeah, just got to do that. And then back there is my, my sorting station, which I have yet to really utilize uh, to its potential. But uh, my plan is to get into it and, and start getting that used stuff taken care of as soon as possible. So, but yeah, that's the state of the store or state of the shop or whatever you want to call it. And uh, tonight, um, I think I'm going to be just parting out these these dot sets, uh, get them out of the way, and yeah, do some general cleaning tonight. All right, so like I said, I'm parting this set out now. Uh, I finished the Speed Champion set, but parted this out uh, four one nine four eight. And I had a lot of the parts already. Uh, so I was just basically adding more to the lots that I already had. Um, but I got this parted out. And then I decided to part this one out. Which sucks. Because instead of having all the bag, all the different colored dots in separate bags. They've got separate bags with all the colors in them. And each... One had six bags, and so, yeah, so it's making a mess. Um, that's what it looks like after they're all poured out and the big white pieces are taken out. Um, this is eight bags. 
and this is eight bags. Um, but I've already kind of broken it down, most of it. So, uh, yeah, and so I've got them all just kind of lined out here. I am bagging them in groups of 100. And yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. It's taking a very long time just because of all the having them all together in one bag. So, so I just got done parting out five of these. Uh, like I said, uh, I'm putting them in bags of 100. And so I started putting them in cups of 100 so that I could put them in the little baggies. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. I uh, started putting them in baggies there. But uh, this will be an additional 4,000 parts to the store. Although I understand that it's just dots and it's kind of ridiculous, but I had them and I'm trying to get them out of the way. So, um, so yeah, I'm just going to bag these up and put them with the other ones over here that I did or that I got from all those dot sets that are on the ground right there. Morning. It's uh, 11.01 .01 on the 18th of October. Uh, just a quick update. I just uh, parted out all those dots the last few days and I'm up to 340,000 and 800 and, or 8,800 lots. So um, today's task is drawer labeling. So got some labels going there. I got the barcodes on the big drawers here. Uh, as I showed before, the um, small drawers, I'm up to AP016, and then I've got all these empty drawers here. However, the large drawers are full up to AX200 uh, with a couple of miscellaneous ones that are empty. Uh, so I'm going to AZ and doing some large drawers there, mainly because I'm about to part out this set just to get it out of my way. So uh, it's a 1,700 pieces in each box. I got 10 boxes there, so another 17,000 pieces going into the store here in the next couple days. Uh, just to get those out of the way, and then um, I'm assuming that that's gonna be enough drawers to, to put those parts in um, but I'm going to once this one is uploaded and I know I've promised this a thousand times before but I'm gonna move on to used and get those drawers back there start getting those ones filled up so uh, yeah so that's the task today uh, like I said I got the pulled the drawers I got barcodes on them, and I think I mentioned this before, but I like to have the barcode on the back, and I like it above this ridge, because when I stack the drawers like this, they don't get smushed, but then on the front side, I like having the big label out front, so uh, there's not, in my experience, there hasn't been a worry of those getting scrunched up when they're stacked on top of each other. Uh, but you'll also notice that on these lower drawers, uh, these two lower cabinets specifically, I've got the label on the little handle piece here as opposed to on the front. And that's just because from this angle, I can see them, whereas I can't see them. Oh, I already converted all these out. Actually, you can see I had them on the front of these drawers here, but from this angle, you can't see them. So I decided to put them on the handle so that I could see them. And I just do that, did that on the top two drawers, or bottom two drawers, except for the top row, because you can't see the handle when they're pushed all the way in. So I keep those on the front. Not that I can see them from up here anyway, but uh, just for conformity, I guess. So, um, yeah, so I've got these barcoded. Uh, I've got the labels printed off over here. I do them in groups of 10 just because they're easier to keep track and print that way. But as I was 
printing them and making them, I messed up and did AZ, AX, AX, AZ. So I had to go back and I caught it on the fifth one, but I had to go back and make AZ labels for those ones that I messed up. So that's what I'm doing for the next little bit. Uh, this shouldn't take me too long. I'm thinking maybe half hour to an hour uh, just to get these cut and, and put on the on the drawers and then stacked back there where my empty large bin spot is. I don't remember if I've shown this before, um, but basically, so like I said, I, I uh, print these out in groups of 10 and then I stick them in my handy dandy little cutter here and I kind of just eyeball it and then Slide it over, get it between the two numbers, and slice again. Goes a lot quicker with two hands, so I'm going to put the phone down and or the camera down and uh, get all these cut out and put on the drawers. All right, getting around to these. Uh, like I said, uh, 1,700 pieces each. I've got 10 of them. This is set 11022 Space Mission. It's a classic set from Costco. Um, I opened up the first one. Oh, there's a picture of all the pieces it's, it's got in it. Opened up the first one. I was kind of expecting it to be like the other classic sets with 1,500 plus parts in them. And each bag be uh, consolidated to, you know, a handful of colors. You know, blacks, whites, grays together, reds and oranges together, you know, stuff like that. However, these are numbered bags and all the colors are kind of mixed in between the bags. And we've got black pieces here, and we got black pieces there, and we got yellow pieces in there, and yellow pieces in here, and there. So I'm kind of disappointed. I was hoping to do these like colors at a time instead of bags at a time, but, and it's kind of weird. So there's one bag one, one bag two, there are four bag threes, three bag fours, and three bag five. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to break all these down by numbers, and then I'm just going to do them by bag number, I guess, like I've been doing all the other sets. Um, basically, I just get them all, all out, and then I do bag number one, and I put all those parts in brick store and then put them on the wall and then I go to the next bag and so forth and so looks like that's how I'm gonna do this one it's gonna take a minute to to get all these done so uh, best get to work all right you got the one one zero two two set part of it well separated by bags uh, all bag one all bag two all four of bag three uh, had some overflow, so I put it in a box there. Same with four, three bag fours, put it in the box there, and three bag fives with some overflow. And each one of these, these bins here have four, or sorry, six sets, and then the last four sets are in there. These two bins have all 10 sets in each bin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with bag number one. Um, it is three thirty-seven. Can't really see it very well. Anyway, three thirty-seven. Um, yeah, we'll see how uh, three thirty-five per Yoda. But uh, we're going to get this parted out and. See how long it takes. All right, so we got the first bag of bag one uh, just parted out. I got them setting here by color. And looks like there's only a handful of colors in here, so that's nice. Um, but basically, I just do this in order to get the cups out and arranged and uh, makes it easier um, once I get the. the brick store file up uh, I can just go down by color and put these away as they go 
Uh, however, I'm starting to come up with an issue uh, because of this wall on this side. Normally I bring my tray in here and I set it right, right here in this area. And then I just walk up and down and put parts away. However, um, now that I've got this other wall, I've got to come around to the other side and put parts away over here. So I'm trying to come up with a way that uh, is more efficient, uh, whether it by, be by drawer number, uh, which would be efficient putting them away. However, I don't know how efficient it would be parting them out and putting them in that order. So uh, just going to have to play with it a little bit and try to think about it. So, All right, so bag one is all parted out. Uh, I did pull the, the small bags out, so those will get parted separately. Um, but I did have three lots that uh, were overflow from the cup, so I just brought them over here and put them in here. Uh, I do know for a fact that those black ones there are going to need a whole new drawer because I have a full drawer of those already. So I'm either going to put it, make a second drawer, or i got to find some place in one of those shoe bins to put them. All right, so it just occurred to me that I may not have shown you guys how uh, my cart works. Um, so I'm in the middle of the small bag from bag one of this set. And so here's some parts usually. So I part out over there and then I bring, you know, anywhere from eight to 12 cups over here, uh, just depending on the number of in the specific color or minimum of eight. Um, so I've got a good selection of colors here uh, so so I bring them over here I scroll through and they're in order by color obviously so I scroll through till I get to the color that I'm looking for so dark turquoise in this instance I got that dark, dark turquoise plate modified one by two with bar handle on the end it says I should have 40 of them in this whole set and they go in AO 106 so I think I've got 20 of them here, so the other 20 is probably in another bag. But I'm going to pull AO106, which is, happens to be just right here. And the last one here. And those go back on the wall. And the cups. I collect the cups until I get all these done. Now, in the instance that I have more parts than I have drawer space, um, so we'll just pull this one back out. So let's say I filled this up to the top and I still have more parts to put into it. Uh, obviously I'm gonna transfer this half of a small drawer into a full drawer, which I have down here. Uh, obviously small full drawers and large drawers. Um, so I'll, I would transfer these parts into a full small drawer and then scan it uh, into the system, make sure I'm saving it. And then once this side is empty, I will either put it alongside here to put new parts in, or since I've already got four lined up there, I'll stack them down there at the bottom. Now, I don't consolidate drawers at the end. I just kind of leave them there uh, until the next part out or or whatever. Uh, same when I'm part when I'm pulling parts for orders. If I happen to sell a whole lot and a comp all the parts of one lot, then obviously I'll have an empty half of a drawer, full drawer, you know, small or big, and so I'll collect them down here until the next part out. So, uh, but since I this is a large set and there's lots of pieces, I'm probably not going to use many of the half drawers um in fact i don't think i've used any of the half drawers thus far uh, i have been upgrading from half drawer to a full small drawer or small drawer to a large drawer or i have a few large drawers over here as i mentioned that are full and so I need to figure out what I'm going to do with these parts. And I haven't done that yet, so we'll get to that a little later. All right, so I'm 
in the middle of bag number three of three, <laughs> if that makes sense. So there were four bags for numbered bag three. This is the third of those four. Uh, I've already parted out the other two. Um, a lot of bigger pieces in this one. Uh, the two by six bricks, uh, two by four, two by two bricks. So filling up cups pretty quick. Uh, as I fill up cups, I'm bringing them over here and, and dumping them off. Uh, so far, the two by four medium azure uh, brick is is the only one that I need to find a spot for. Uh, I had some two by four whites and two by four blacks, I think. I don't remember off the top of my head. Um, but uh, I had the spots for those in the shoe bins. So those are getting more full. Um, I have used up, what was that, 20, or what, 18, 19? 19 of the large drawers that I just numbered. Um, so yeah, getting a lot of pieces, moving a lot of parts. And yeah, I just got uh, this one bag of bag number three left. I got a couple empty bins here that I'm gonna sort out the three bags of bag four and then the three bags of bag five. So, so yeah, so in total, what, three, six, seven, and a half more bags. And all of the bags thus far have had a little bag inside of them, except for one of the smaller bags labeled number three. Um, but yeah, all of them have had, all of them except that one have had small, small bags in them. And I think most of these do. to have one so and then it appears that that one doesn't either. So. so yeah hopefully we can get this done today i've got a few more hours to work and all right today's the 20th of october and i am on day three of parting these out and i'm on bag four and bag five is sitting over here so I divided them out. I actually like this color palette of the dark turquoise and coral, yellow and orange, and then this bright green that's over here. So that's pretty cool. I like all these colors together. And then I also like this color palette as well with the magenta and black and neon yellow. Neon yellow being a newer color. So, so yeah. Uh, hopefully I get these done today. Uh, it's about 9.30 ish and uh, actually quarter after 10 according to the clocks. So uh, I'm gonna get working on these and hopefully get them done today. All right so I completed parting out that set. Um, again it was 11022 I think and these are the parts that I have that don't fit into the smaller drawers or the larger drawers, acromel drawers. Uh, I took some Sterilite drawers that I had empty and I just use those to, to put pieces in for right now. I'm actually considering just leaving them in those drawers. Um, these are all two by fours and so two by four bricks. Yeah, I've got another uh, medium azure two by four brick right there that I might throw into another one of those drawers just because they seem to uh, fit so handily. Um, some of these I'm gonna put in two drawers, like these uh, two by two bricks, uh, probably those ones and these ones. Uh, I think these ones, the, the one by two bricks, I think I'm gonna end up putting them into these smaller Sterilite drawers. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna Put them where I can fit them and maybe rearrange after that if I don't like the way they are. But um, but for right now, uh, I'm just going to try to get them in drawers and then get these, these listed. 
Hey, just wanted to close this uh, video out with a recap of my inventory. So it looks like I got 357,600 items with just shy of 9,000 lots in the store. So uh, it's been a long week doing all those dots and then that, uh, that 1,700 part set. Um, but we're getting there. Uh, yeah, uh, have a great week.